this code and we will go back and revisit this on Monday. All right. What do we do with buttons? We click them. All right. So we need some code that's going to be waiting to be clicked and executed when the button is clicked. Code like that, that kind of sits and waits for something to happen, in this case, waits for the button to be clicked to run, is often called a listener. So what we're going to do for this button, we're going to set as on click listener to a new function that we're creating. So effectively, we're telling that, hey, when this button gets clicked, I know it's a button because I found it on the view and I cast it as a button. Therefore, I can tell it what to do when it gets clicked. Might not be able to do that with other views, but this is a button, so I can tell it what to do when it gets clicked. And here's what I want to do. I'm going to create a new meal object. All right. I am going to do the same thing and find the edit text for the amount of the meal. I'm going to find where I'm going to put my answer, that tip text view. I'm going to find the spinner. I'm then going to grab values from the text box and the spinner and then ask the meal to calculate your tip. So I'm pulling the values, I, I'm, I pointed to the values on the page, I'm pulling those values, and I'm then asking the meal, hey, meal, here's some information about you. Here's the level of service, here is the uh, amount of it. Tell me what I should tip. I get that tip back, and I um, fill in the, uh, the, the, the results uh, text file. All right. I know that's pretty quick going through this, but we will uh, review this in more detail next time. All right. I guess, really, um, of all these things, the one thing that is important is that statement about grabbing the button, because as you notice, we're doing that all over the place. All right. This is what creates all those objects. This creates that button object on the screen and, and all that. But this allows our code to point to it and write some code based on that. Just like this allows us to, or this allows us to pull the value out of that edit box. This allows us to pull the selected value out of the spinner. And those they all sort of look the same. We have our type of variable, variable name equals, and we cast that to the ID that corresponds in the layout. All right. Questions about this? I know I went over that last part fast, so don't panic if, if this stuff isn't clear. All right. We'll go over that in a lot of detail. Really, I think the key thing here is what I want to show and what I'll continue to show next week is, number one, review some basic Java concepts like we've been doing. And number two, show how, how all this stuff talks to each other. In other words, we have our strings. We have our layout file. We have our code that manipulates that. Well, how does the layout file, or rather, how does the code talk to the layout file to know what to grab and what to do with it? and via lines like this. All right, that's all I had. I'll see you over in lab.